Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, like I said, I would make a video on uh, the reason I went down to Texas, and here it is. Um, essentially what I did was I went down to go get some uh, Z33, Z34 transmissions. Uh, I would like to do that uh, that transmission swap on the JZ over the build season before you know the drift season gets up in, up and running. So, here they are. So here are the two of them, and I guess this video will kind of go into a how how do I know if my um, 350Z transmission is the strong one. You know, I've heard like CD001 and CD005 and 6 and 8. Um, you know, those are the kinds that you do not want. Uh, seems like people want the CD009 for the updated internals and the you know the synchro issues taken care of. And I guess this is kind of a brief video on how I knew 100% for sure mine were the good ones and a couple pointers on what you can do to uh, figure out if yours is the good style or not. So first off, I've run the VIN numbers. Um, you can find the VIN numbers on the passenger side. Right there. Same thing with that one. It's right there. But um, So this one according to the VIN is out of an 09 370Z and this one according to the VIN is out of an 08 G37 now both of these um, I have no reason to doubt that they are the strong ones I think the whole issue was figuring out if your transmission was the good one from G35's and 350Z's from what I understand Nissan you know fixed all the issues and put the good strong CD009s in the late model G35s and 350Zs and it just makes sense to me that if they fixed it for the late model 350Zs it would be fixed and good to go in the you know in all the cars after that so 370Z obviously is um, the successor to the 350Z and the G37 is the successor to the G35 so I have no doubt that these have the good strong internals now one way to kind of just figure that out from the external is this one has a rev match this little plate indicates that it has the rev match uh, computer chip in the transmission and what that does is in the stock 370z you put the clutch in you shift into gear it knows what gear you're in and it tells the ECU to actuate the throttle to match the RPM so when you let the clutch out you know it's smooth engagement so if yours has one of these rev match computers you have a good um, I don't know if they're called JK 40 C's or B's or A's or what have you but you have a good internal Z34 transmission now most transmissions look like this with the black plate so if you're looking on Craigslist it has a black plate it doesn't really tell you much Another thing you can look for is, um, I don't know if this for sure, but from what I've been reading, if you have a CD001, this hole right here could be filled. It could just be one solid aluminum piece. So you'll have this opening and this will be filled. Now these are very easy to swap, so I wouldn't go just based on that, but if yours has a filled shifter bracket um, along with some other signs, then I'd be pretty sure that's a CD001 and you may not want to pick that one up. Now the other thing that you can look at are these case stamping numbers and I'm not sure if they tell you much I never really looked into this some people claim they do some people claim they're garbage but mine has CDs, CD5 number one on the front casing and CD4 number one on the rear casing and this is off the G37. Now the 370Z has CD8 number one and CD8 number one as well. Now I don't know if that tells you anything or not. Uh, some people seem to be pretty adamant that they do, but I mean, you know, this says CD5 and CD4, which it clearly is not. Um, so I don't know. You can use that as, at your own risk. So coming around here to the front of the transmission, you can see that the G37 one has the internal slave cylinder 
and the 370Z has the mounting points for the slave cylinder, but it's uh, it's gone. And what I'm what I'm thinking here is, if it has the mounting points for the internal slave, it probably was a late model CD009 or a uh, 370Z transmission. They only put internal slaves on late model CD009s and Z34 transmissions. All the CD001s, 5s, 6, 8, whatever, what have you, all had external slave cylinders. And while you can swap this plate, I think you can just unbolt it and put the external sla slave cylinder plate on. Um, from my experience, most people that are selling these aren't really looking to scam you. They're just trying to get rid of their transmission. Um, of course, I could have been scammed and I don't even know it, but uh, if it has an internal cylinder, there's probably a pretty good chance it hasn't been tampered with and that's probably the stock setup and you're probably good. And just for the record, the 370Z has CD8 number one and <clears throat> this one is kind of dirty to read. You can't really see it. But I don't think you can just slap on an internal slave on an external slave transmission. Uh, from the pictures that I've been seeing online, the external slave f um, you know, front cover doesn't have the mounting bolts and it would also have a pivot ball somewhere if, if the external slave faceplate could just mount up an internal slave. But none of mine have any point to mount a pivot ball as far as I can see. So quick recap on what you're looking for when you're going to buy a CD009 or JK40C or whatever whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, Z33, Z34 transmission. And uh, first off is, you know, rev match. If it has rev match, you're good to go. It means it's out of like a Nismo 370Z or something like that. But uh, it's well beyond that uh, the problem. CD009, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever whatever the uh, the bad CD trends are. So, rev match, you're good to go. If it has an internal slave, you're probably good to go. Uh, from what I understand, what, from what I've read, from what I've seen, you can't just put an internal slave on an external slave model transmission. The, the front, you know, the front cover that bolts onto the transmission just doesn't have the bolt pattern for it. Um, and, you know, finally just look at the VIN number, you know, take the VIN number, put it into Google, it'll typically tell you for free what that car is, and if it's a, you know, 2003 350Z, stay away from that, that's for sure, CB001, um, I think 2004 and 5 models did have issues, and I think, you know, late model 350Zs like 07, maybe even 06, and of course, G37s and 370Zs from you know 08 and up are all going to have that good transmission and fortunately both transmissions I got one was out of a 2008 G37 and the other one was out of a 2009 370Z so they're you know I'm, I'm pretty safe as far as I know I'm like 99% sure I have the the good transmission and that's pretty much it when you're looking for a CD009 just check those things out you know, make sure it's in good condition overall. The transmissions I got were, you know, really clean. I believe them on the mileage. I actually ran a Carfax on one of the cars and the last reported mileage was 44,000 miles as of like December 2017. And, you know, that's when I got the transmission. So chances are that's a 44,000 mile transmission and everything should be good on it. You know, just, uh, just take your time, search regs, Search Craigslist, the deals will pop up, you know, do your research, check over the transmission, you know, if you can see a little bit of the oil coming out of the, the uh, tail shaft, um, you know, take a look at that, see if there's any metal fragments in it. And, um, you know, hopefully this helps some people, you know, everyone wants that, uh, the strong transmission for their Jay-Z swaps, you know, no point in putting on a CD001 that breaks on, you know, stock VQ power. So, you know, just do your homework, be careful, you know, search Craigslist, the deals will pop up. Thanks for watching.